Well, Shannon Sharp and Mike Epps, they squashed their beef. To me, I don't really believe that it was a beef at all. I just think that a lot of a lot of them were doing a lot of salacious stuff just to draw attention uh, to uh, Club Shay Shay because, you know, um, it's very lucrative for their career and it's very lucrative for uh, Shannon. I told y'all they studied black YouTube and they coming into the YouTube space now copying what was going on in black YouTube. They're not going over to Joe Rogan side. They're not going over to the sports side. They're coming right over to the dysfunctional side and they're emulating all the stuff that they've been, that they've been seeing. So, you know, they talked about uh, uh, Shannon, I'm gonna pull up on you on All-Star Weekend. Mike Epps responded with, uh, you pull up in, um, in my hometown, we don't do no fighting, we do pop, 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 pop. A whole bunch of men in their 50s act, acting real goofy. It's just a bunch of goofy stuff, but that's how I know it's fake, because these men got so much to lose. It's just so much to lose, and I'm going to tell you, Shannon, you, you got to be real thick-skinned if you want to come over into the black sector. But Corey Holcomb has been very critical of Shannon uh, uh, at different times, right? So Corey has some things to say about Shannon. Let's check out what Corey had to say. We'll come right back. Sharp is committed to find a way to make it seem like Kyrie Irving is not credible. Skip sounded like he had more conviction about what's right than you did. You went out your way to shit on that man. I think you don't like him because he's not gay. That's just my oh, opinion, Jesus. Shannon Sharp. I think you don't like Kyrie because Kyrie is a heterosexual male and it shows. <laughs> I think you got a problem with that. <laughs> he got a problem with <laughs> Kyrie <laughs> because he don't want to lose that seat he in. He get to sit there with the other sis. I mean, the other dude <laughs> and mom joke all day about whatever. Uh, Shannon Sharp, stop doing that. Be a man. Stand up. Don't let them make you into some basher of a black man because you want to keep your job. Tell Skip the honeymoon is over. As you can see, everything that uh, Corey Holcomb said in this video is, is very, very similar to what Mike Epps is saying about Shannon Sharp. You know, in the videos that he's been doing, that he's been making going in on Shannon. Let's look at what Mike Epps was saying. I don't be doing no fighting lately. I don't do no fighting. So, you know, it's only other one other option. If you don't fight, you do blank, 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 blank. And Ocho, you shut up and go get some eyebrows. You looking like a milk dud sitting agitating. We watched the white boy kick your ass on TV. So you shut up. And Shay Shay, you did look like Medea sitting there. You was looking zesty. I'm not saying you gay, but you was looking zesty. You look like Big Frida sitting there. You need to take them tight ass shirts off with the muscles. And that's it. <laughs> Go check out my special February the 20th on Netflix. February 20th on Netflix is called I'm Ready to Sell Out. Because being a real dude ain't making no money right now. Shannon Sharp is, you know, coming from for many years now. You know, he talked about how he grew up poor, you know, down there in the, in the deep south down in Georgia. But uh, going into college and into the pros, you know, he's been a privilege. He's lived a privileged life for many years now. You know, uh, being a, a, a A1 blue chip player in college, coming out of college, you know, uh, going into the NFL, being probably top three or four greatest tight end to ever play the game. I, and, and not just that, he actually revolutionized the position. The same way LT revolutionized the linebacker position, um, uh, uh, Shannon revolutionized the tight end position to the point where a tight end became the focal point of an offense. The way he would spread, the way he would be able to spread offenses by, by moving down the field, moving the ball down the field. He was like one of the first to do that. He wasn't a great blocker, but he was uh, like a receiving tight end. He took that thing to another level. Right. But Shannon, Shannon and his privilege, uh, he's not built for this uh, black YouTube space. He, he has his ego is way too inflated. So Corey took the social media to the 5150 show to apologize to him. You know, what I mean, and, and, and Corey and Corey Holcomb's uh, way, you know, what I mean, comedic fashion. But let's look at let's listen to what Corey Holcomb had to say.
This is what I'm saying. I don't see how we could ever stop joking about what it is, but I will do what I have to do to respect the brother. I don't want the brother to think I hate him. I don't. It's just jokes, like you said. I, I, I'm mm -hmm. a silly motherfucker. Let me cool out. Yeah. Let me try to let me try to get it together. But Mike Epps was funny with that shit he said. Oh my god! What he, did he say about Ocho even, when he even when he said yeah he said Ocho the milk dud ice. head no eyebrow yeah. having ass. <laughs> And then he still said it. He said, well, Shannon, you was looking kind of zesty up there. Look, and what Mike Epps said on stage was funny. Now, he admitted it wasn't accurate. Mike Epps DM'd um, Shay Shay. Who wouldn't want to be on Shay Shay with the type of action Shay Shay getting? Shay Shay Club, Shay Shay can be the standard. Because it, cause you can get loose on that motherfucker. Hey, so it's Shannon okay Sharp. To do that, to lie. What? No, I ain't saying it's okay for nobody to lie. I'm saying, but Mike Epps lied. And Mike said, Epps lied and admitted. Uh -huh. He said, nah, I did get in your DM because you brought my name up in front of Cat, but Cat didn't go there on him. And I'm glad Cat yeah. didn't go there on him. Because I don't I even remember the name. At one time, Cat and Mike Epps wasn't seeing eye to eye. And uh -huh. I, the last thing I want is Cat and Mike Epps to go at it because I, I just don't want nothing to go bad. Yeah, I think it's I all in fun. I don't want nothing to go bad with them. I think it's all in fun now that, they, that he reached out, you know what I'm saying, like that. Oh, it's somebody Shannon. said he did say, um, Shannon said, Shannon did say he not gay on the Nightcap podcast. Well, let me shut up then. He said it. Mm -hmm. I could have swore I saw that. It was a recap that I saw too, like on that. He need right. to tell that stylist that he is fucking opening up doors. You, you making it seem like I'm gay out here just because I'm with you. Can we get a little piece of, let me get a little napkin. What you talking about, D? About you stealing hey boy, Shannon's, I got a scene stealing when, when, Shannon's when, when Shannon was laughing with Kit. He said, he, 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 he. look, it's some zesty shit going on. Now, I ain't trying to motherfucking be like talking crazy like that. Like if the man say he ain't gay, okay, he not gay then. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck it. We don't care. We love him anyway. Shannon Sharp is necessary. Good. So yeah, everybody's backing that up, saying that he did say he's not. That's what I could have swore I saw too. Okay. Corey mm -hmm. looked like what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> they said you look like you stole Shannon's uh, gloss or that. I got my lip gloss out. <laughs> hey y'all, don't worry about what I got on. <laughs> See it. <laughs> nah, but yo, I'm just saying, man. I don't want nobody to get beat up. Um, Shannon Sharp. I know what happens when you big and strong over everybody like that. You got to try to be cool when you don't want to be cool. You want to slap the shit out of somebody. Mm. Only problem is when you slap the shit out of somebody, they neck break. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and not even trying. He just seems All like right. kind of, how big is he anyway? He's a big dude. But how big? Um, I, need to I bet he about 6'3". Really? Might be taller. He's no joke. I'm talking about as far as it go as a... Human specimen. Mm -hmm. He used to do that shit where he was all chiseled in the middle. I'm chiseled a little bit too in the middle, but I could do better. Look, the point I'm trying to make, Shannon, if I ever said something that went too far, I apologize, bro. I apologize. I don't want you to be all upset like that. I'm a silly motherfucker, and, you know, I, I, I want to talk about that. It's frozen. Next. Now... At the, at the top of this thing, people was talking about Shannon Sharp's sexuality. Do I think Shannon Sharp is gay? Probably not, but I don't really care. But when you come into this space and you want to deal in the gossip, you want to bring up people's names, you want to uh, make the big bucks in this space, you got to really be prepared for people to come at you in all different ways. They're not going to spare your grandmama. They're not going to spare your granddaddy. They're not going to spare your brother when he hurt his neck. They're not going to spare nothing. They, uh, we know your brother got a white wife. They're not. They going to come after you in every aspect and every way that they can. And you got to have tough skin. You got to be ready. You got to let that privileged af athlete ego go. You can't be threatening people everywhere you go. You Shannon Sharp. Man, they going to they gonna sue, they gonna sue, sue you to the ground. But this is what you chose. Like I said, you didn't, cho you didn't choose to stay on the ESPN's corporate side like that and deal in this talk about sports. 
You didn't choose to go to Joe Rogan way and have those type of conversations. You didn't choose to go to Arsenio Hall way or, or any of that type of stuff. You choose to you choose you chose to came over here and become the female Tasha K. You want to you want to delve in all the messy stuff. You want to get messy. You want to bring on people that got kicked out the whip to come on there and tell everybody business. That's what you want to do. Well, this is par for the course. This come with the game, bro. If this is what you want to do. So you can't be on here threatening nobody. You can't be on, you can't be on here saying you're going to pull up as if somebody's going to fight your big ass. No. No. They're going to see if you can catch a bullet. You can catch a football. They're going to see if you can catch a bullet, my brother. That's what they're going to do. So all this fake stuff, man, that's going on, uh, uh, these fake beefs, uh, this guy in Nightcap, in his Nightcap show, he's getting fifty to 60,000 people watching him at night. Club Shay Shay is getting millions of views. So, of course, they're going to keep it going this way. A lot of those uh, 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 actors and comedians, they'll come back on the show. When they need to promote something, they'll be right back up there because they know that it's going to go out to millions of people, man. But I'm going to cut this video short here. Subscribe to Street Media TV. Leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this, man. Remember, I love y'all. Till the next time. Peace.